effectively teaching the behavior disordered student, going beyond just maintaining. Teaching the BD student. In this PowerPoint presentation, I wish to discuss several key ideas which will help assist the special education teacher and regular classroom teacher in dealing with the most challenging student population, the behavior disordered student. In the first category, I wish to discuss academic progress. Key points I'd like to make here are provide the BD student with a consistent and clear educational plan. Secondly, create no more than three attainable and measurable goals for the school year as it directly relates to the student's academic performances. Also, be very certain as to challenge the student with high interest material. BD students tend to be more hands-on, so find activities get, that get them actively involved. Also, it is important to graph performance of key areas, regardless of the subject areas. Have the student self-monitor and self-grasp his performance, becoming his own case manager. And finally, actively praise his accomplishments genuinely and find ways for the student to reward himself for progress made. The second category is social development. Some key points here are, firstly, use an active social skills curriculum one where the student can create goals on interpersonal relationships, anger management, and appropriate assertiveness skills. Secondly, apply the social skills curriculum in a variety of milieus, such as at home, at work, at school, and in the community. Finally, create a thinking and responding log, whereby the student can monitor his interactions for the week, looking back at how he responded to the week's social interactions, and reflect upon what he did well and what he would do differently next time. Transitional skills include, within the broad spectrum of this heading, we must focus on five main subheadings. First, daily living skills. Secondly, work-related behaviors, followed by interpersonal community relationships, leisure and recreational skills, and finally, self-advocacy skills. In the category of daily living skills, we must focus on financial. These include budgeting, credit management, consumer buying, checking and savings, and long-term planning. Second, personal skills, including hygiene, cleanliness, personal health habits, body management, which includes weight control and fitness. Followed by domestic, these include cooking, cleaning, house and laundry, and intimate relationships in the home, significant others, including spouses and children. Finally, legal and community, knowing community laws, acquisition of and utilization of legal resources, such as lawyers, and transportational issues, such as driving a car versus taking a cab or riding a city bus. The next subcategory is work-related behaviors. These include school versus vocational training, job seeking skills, how to write a resume, how to complete applications and interviewing skills. Finally, job related conduct, which includes following company rules, punctuality on the job, professional coworker and employer relationships, attitude and professional conduct while on the job, and professional assertiveness. In the category of interpersonal community relationships, we have appropriate public behavior being important, also conduct with community authorities such as police and managers of businesses, etc., and advocacy as it relates to workforce development, that is community resources such as food stamps and public assistance. Leisure and recreational skills category include appropriate use of leisure time, seeking out recreational and leisure time activities constructively, hobby development and healthy personal interests, finally community involvement. These include getting involved in civic groups, sports leagues, and fraternal organizations. And the final subcategory is self-advocacy skills. These include locating and acquiring needed services in the community, such as food stamps, welfare, and aid to dependent children, social support groups and networking, such as Alcoholics Anonymous, survivors groups, etc., and educational training, such as community college night classes or online courses, or vocational courses. A final thought in success in the classroom for teaching the BD student. Teachers should always remember to be firm, 
Avoid power struggles. Seek out the assistance of the AEA team or school administrators and counselors. Develop a working relationship with parents whenever possible and be consistent. Always be consistent. Keeping this in mind should help you to become a very effective teacher in working with behavior disorder students. Thank you for your attention. My name is Brian S. Lynch and I am founder and owner of Mr. Tutor Mobile Tutoring Service and a veteran special education teacher and driver education instructor for the past 20 plus years. We are in Cedar Rapids in Iowa City, Iowa and should you like to contact, contact us at any time you may by checking our email out at brian at that's b-r-i-a-n at mobiletutorservice.com or check out our website at www.mobiletutorservice.com you may also find us on Facebook at http colon backward slash backward slash companies dot to slash Mr. Tutor Iowa or follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash Mr. Tutor 1612 you can also contact us by telephone at area code 319-721-2225. That's 319-721-2225. We thank you for your attention and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.